17 of September 2022 is the official date of the third fight Canelo Alvarez vs Gennady Golovkin. For the first time, they faced 16 of September 2017. The young Mexican desire vs an experienced fighter, a non-defeated and a pound-for-pound -pound number one. They fight for the WBA, WBC, IBF and the ring belts in the middleweight. From the first second, Canelo Alvarez showed his aggression and no-step-back style. Despite that, his fighting style is the work of the second number. He rushes forward and makes the opponent work at the first number and catches them on their mistakes. But right from the third round, Gennady Golovkin showed him that he is better in that game. He is much more experienced and this night will be very tough for Canelo Alvarez. But as the result, split. This is officially a draw. Of course, the rematch was a quest of time, but almost right after the fight, Canelo Alvarez was tested positive on doping and suspended for six months. Instead of him, Gennady's opponent became Vanas Martirisan, who was knocked out in the second round. And 15 of September 2018, it finally was announced an official return day of Canelo Alvarez. In that fight, Gennady Golovkin wanted to knock out Canelo and gave no work to judges. But Canelo Alvarez was faster. And here we can see that Golovkin's arsenal became too much primitive. He is no more a creative boxer. He strikes one twos only. And as the result, he gave almost all rounds to Canelo Alvarez instead of a couple in the beginning and a couple in the end of the fight. Dean surprised everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 total to toe rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards and new The victory by majority decision and the question of the rematch was still opened. But after four years, this fight was finally announced. 17 of September 2022. And this is the cold start on Boxing Boundary. In 2018, Gennady Golovkin was already 36 years old. It's too much for the middle waiter. And because of his exchanging fighting style, he left a lot of health in the ring. We can see a lot of fighters who had so long winning streak and after the hard 12 rounds fight or a hard knockout, they're starting to lose. They cost the body can accept a limited quantity of punches. Later, will recover properly. The same what happened with Arturo Gatti. When he started to lose even to the fighters like Mickey Ward, who was a trampling fighter through all his career or passed them very hard. Because the athlete's life is very short. In 2016, Gennady Golovkin faced another one dominant British desire who had the same record. 36 wins and no losses. Cal Brook. The fighter from Sheffield, who had the same exchangeable style, rised up on two categories higher and lost that fight almost by one sided betting. And right after that, he failed the fight with Errol Spans Jr. and Terence Crawford. And now, after the victory against Mir Han, he finally finished their career at the age of 36. You can say that those fighters were at the top level. 
but Kell Brook was the fighter who had all chances to become pound for pound number one, 36 victories winning streak, and a knockout machine. But the age means the age, and when he met the young opposition, he started to lose. Honestly, Gennady Golovkin had a really hard fight with Daniel Jacobs, a fight before Canelo Alvarez won. But something changed in his training camp, something important, and he is not done yet. Despite that, Gennady Golovkin is 40 years old. In 2013, Canelo Alvarez became the real superstar because he was young and tapped into the ring at the right time when the boxing veterans started to greet this game. And here came a lot of new professionals, even who currently didn't have the worldwide titles. The fighters like Richard Cologne, David Benavides, Kona Ban, Terence Crawford, Jerwanta Davis, and a lot of modern boxers on the high level. Floyd Mayweather had 45 victories, but he was already 36 years old, but he remained undefeated. At the end of his career, he fought with a past generation of the fighters, who we are talking about the tops, like Arturo Cotti, Oscar De La Hoya, or Manny Pacquiao. The fight, Floyd Mayweather vs Canelo Alvarez, was very important. The clash of the generations and two undefeated fighters with a solid record. The youth vs the experience. Canelo Alvarez was only 23 years old, but because of the Mexican laws, he became professional at the age of 15. That's why he had so huge fighting record at the age of 23. But in the real fight, Floyd Mayweather dodged from all Alvarez punches and overplayed him because of experience. Their famous Philly Shell made a deal. All Mayweather's pedigree used that defensive style. That's why Floyd Mayweather is the only one fighter in the modern boxing history who has 50 and 0. And currently, he performs as an exhibitor and didn't lose the fight almost in open weights. Canelo done less than Oscar. A huge part of fans are still thinking that Floyd lost that fight against Golden Boy. And it was a victory by split decision. Canelo, a former Oscar Ward, tried to avenge him with his fight was ended in the majority decision of the victory of Floyd Mayweather. But after that fight, Canelo faced seven more fighters and almost all of them had finished by the early stoppages, including the fight against another one British boxer superstar, Amir Khan, and the son of the legendary Cesar Chavez. But after two fights with Gennady Golovkin, Canelo Alvarez became the pound for pound number one boxer and a real superstar. At the same time, Gennady didn't felt himself comfortable because people started to talk about his retirement. But the most obvious thing was that Golovkin became too much primitive boxer. A lot of professionals still talks about the boxers from the past Soviet Union that they have a super primitive boxing style. Because Soviet Union didn't have the professional boxing and their fighting style is for the Olympic Gamers. We are talking about the big fighters from the Ukraine, like Klitschko brothers, their fighting styles were formed under the American or European coaches. Even Vasily Lomachenko said that you can't be a champion by striking one-twos only. 
That's why he lose to Tefimo Lopez. But Gennady Golovkin had two coaches in the beginning of his boxing journey. First of all, he had his brother, who is still in Golovkin's team. And secondly, Abel Sanchez, this is the coach which has been always criticized because of his training camps. He has no a professional proper boxing camp. He's like a coach from the school. That's what exactly said Gennady Golovkin right after the fight Alvarez vs Golovkin 2 and hired his new coach, Jonathan Banks. Jonathan Banks is a ward of the famous Emmanuel Sturt. Later he became a boxer and now he's coaching. Gennady Golovkin had his neutral tempo and a knockout punch. That's why he holds a Guinness World Record of the highest percentage of the knockout. But because of time, his power disappeared and his speed too. That's why Jonathan started to work on Golovkin's technique. He said three aspects the rhythm of the fight, the defense, and the quantity of the punches. Now we can see Gennady fights as a small Tyson, who swings the pendulum and has a lot of footwork. The improvements were already obvious when he fought with two roles. The fighter, he was a beginner, with a record of 19 wins and no losses. And Gennady Golovkin knocked him out in the fourth round. The next one was Sergei Devanchenko, another one young fighter, and a lot of experts told that he would defeat all Gennady, but he ruined all their plans, and Triple G defeated him by majority decision, and won IBF and IBO titles in the middleweight. In his protection, in the age of 38, he defeated Kamil Shimamata, and named for April, this year, in the age of 40 years old, he knocked out Riotam Rata, being a 40 years old fighter. And now, he holds IBF, IBO, and WBA belts in the middleweight. And now, 17 of September 2022 is the official date when Gennady Golovkin will face Canelo Alvarez for the third time and right here we'll find out who will be the king of the super middleweight.